Hey everyone, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a dupe or dud on some highlighters I recently mentioned in my June favorites video. I'll link that top the eye up there or uh, tap the link in the description box below in case you missed that. But I was talking about the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold retails for 10 bucks, was in my favorites video, and I mentioned wanting to try it because all of the reviews and swatches and hype in general I was seeing about this guy reminded me so much of another luxury highlighter I had tried not even a month before but this guy retails for $56. It's from Dior and it's the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade three. There are four total shades in this collection, whereas just the one for now uh, in the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome collection, four total shades here. So this is the third golden one in the collection. Retails for, did I say what it retails for? I probably did. Oh well, can't hurt <laughs> reiterating. Retails for $56 and for that you get obviously the luxurious, um, you know, kind of heavy duty, uh, luxury feeling Dior packaging with the cushion print on the outside. Inside, pretty standard. This The Dior logo is stamped in here. You get a nice mirror. And then it also comes with a pretty substantial kabuki brush. It's not like one of those where it's kind of flimsy, doesn't do a great job at applying something evenly. This is like a great, I wish I had it. I don't even know where it is. But I, in the video I originally talked about this, I used it and it's a pretty substantial mini kabuki brush. So in addition to getting the luxury experience with this sort of product, there are some actual essentials that might justify the price tag. But if you're someone who's like, luxury is great if that's what you're into, but I just want to get down to the nitty gritty and I want a highlighter that looks like this on my face, but doesn't look like 56 bucks out of my bank account. That's what I'm here to talk about today. So on the, on my right side, I am wearing the Maybelline. I'm wearing it not only on the tops of my cheekbones, but also on my eyelid as well. And then on the left side of my face, I am wearing the Dior again, tops of my cheekbones as well as on my eyelid, because those are the two places that I primarily like to wear it. And I also wanted to show how they might differ depending on how densely you apply them. For instance, I used a blush or a brush to apply these to my cheeks today, but if you go with something like your finger or a more dense tool to really pack on the pigment, and that's really where I think you can tell the major difference between these two is that the Maybelline here, let me hold them so you can actually see which side of my face I'm wearing them on. The Maybelline is more warm gold, whereas the Dior is a little bit more neutral, and some people might find that to be more flattering. But really, I think you can only tell that difference when you layer it up using something like your finger or a dense brush to pack that pigment on because otherwise across the rest of your face it's it's pretty much six of one half a dozen of the other in terms of the formula these are very different the dior is talc based at least according to what i could find on the internet i threw away my box and i could not find ingredient lists on sephora or neiman marcus or nordstrom no one has an ingredient deck and so i looked for a picture of the box and it looks like this is talc based whereas the maybelline doesn't have any talc in it at all and yet they're both very silky smooth buttery formula so maybe that's the defining factor if you have uh, you know talc sensitivities one way or the other that might be another deciding factor for you interesting to see though that they have very different formulas but still have the same texture the shimmer or highlight is just as finely milled across both of these you're not going to look like a disco ball with one there are no larger chunks of shimmer or glitter in one versus the other both are going to give you that you know ultra fine airbrush sort of highlight that can be layered to be like boom a pop across your face so yeah, that's it. When it comes down to it, it is really just the pigmentation and you really only notice it when you go in to apply it pretty dramatically. But for the most part, when it comes down to getting down to business and like, do they look the same when applied to your face? The answer is pretty much yes. So it is probably, unless you're very much into the, you know, luxury experience of Dior and you get the brush and you get the luxe packaging, that might be worth the 56 bucks for you. But if all you're looking for is a gorgeous molten golden highlight that you can apply to your face and eyes and wherever else you want to, it's summer. So you wanna put it on your collarbones and your shoulders and things like that. This might be the better way to go for 10 bucks and you actually get more product in the Maybelline. I believe you get 0.24. Where did I see that? Yes, you get 0.24 ounces in the Maybelline versus 0.21 in the Dior. So, eh. Just wanted to put it out there. They are super duper similar. They're not without their subtle differences in swatch and when they're layered, but you know, I mean, when you're looking for a, an amazing gold highlight, this one pretty much gets the job done. So really hope this video was helpful, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.